Hello guys, how are you all? Hope everyone is doing your preparation for upcoming JIGMAR and AIMS NORSET exams. Fine. And today we are going to discuss about test series 2. In test series 1, we discussed about fundamental of nursing. And in test series 2, we are going to discuss about MCQs, very important repeatedly asked MCQs from anatomy and physiology and also medical surgical nursing. Let's begin. Before that, a gentle reminder about two courses. The first one is online crash course. It is a live session course and it is of 21 days started from 22nd July and it will continue up to 11th August and the timing is going to be 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And second one is offline course which we are going to launch in Pondicherry at Water Rivera. The course starts from 15th August 2022 and the timing is going to be 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you want to contact us, you can contact in the given phone number for your admissions. Don't lose the opportunities guys. Opportunities strike once. Utilize the opportunity and keep on rocking. Keep motivating us by liking, sharing and subscribing our videos and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So let's begin the session. The first question is, valvular connivence is characteristically seen in large intestine, duodenum, ileum and jejunum. And here the correct answer is option D, jejunum. And the rationale behind this is, valvular connivence, it is also called as circular folds, also called as walls of Kirk rings or place circular. These are all the different names of valvular connivence. And what is this? These are all the folds of the mucosa and submucosa of the small intestine. You can see the folds which is present in the image. Those folds are called as valvular connivence. And they are numerous in the upper part of the jejunum. And also it is present in the ileum but the quantity is less. That's why we selected the option jejunum. The next one is. Which part of the intestine contain Brenner's gland? Options are ileum, duodenum, jejunum and colon. And here the correct answer is option B, duodenum. The rationale behind this is Brenner's gland are located in the submucosa of the duodenum. They secrete an alkaline fluid which contain mucin. What is the function of mucin? It protects the mucosa from the acid stomach content entering the duodenum. Motilin is secreted by cells in liver, pancreas, esophagus and ileum. And here the correct answer is option D, ileum. The rational is, motilin is a polypeptide. Polypeptide means it is a protein that stimulates and controls the contraction of the gastrointestinal tract. It is secreted by MO cells. And these cells are present in the stomach as well as in the small intestine. The next one is, Ligament of threads is present in options are gastroduodenal junction, duodeno-jejunal junction, ileocecal junction, colorectal junction. And here the correct answer is option B, duodeno-jejunal junction. You can see in this image, in the duodeno-jejunal junction, these ligaments are present. The next one is the right free border of lesser omentum contain all following structure except options are bile duct inferior vena cava, portal vein, hepatic artery. And here the correct answer is option B, inferior vena cava. And the rationale behind this is, there are five major peritoneal folds which is present in the gastrointestinal system. That is greater omentum, falciform ligaments, lesser omentum, mesenteric and mesocolon. And now in question they asked about lesser omentum. So the lesser omentum, it's a right free border and it is close to hepatic artery, common bile duct, portal vein and hepatic plexus of nerves. And nowhere it is close to inferior vena cava. In question they asked except. So we selected what? Inferior vena cava. The next one is, Boyer-Helve syndrome means rupture of small intestine, rupture of esophagus, rupture of abdominal wall and rupture of duodenum. And here the correct answer is option B, rupture of esophagus. Boyer syndrome is a spontaneous rupture of esophagus. Underline the word spontaneous rupture of esophagus usually caused due to forceful vomiting. It is characterized by classic marker tried like vomiting, chest pain and subcutaneous 
emphysema. The next one is owl's teeth should be packed in. Options are normal saline, cold water, milk and warm water. To solve this question, you should know what is the meaning of owl's teeth. And here the right answer is option C, milk. The rational is, owl's teeth means complete displacement of the tooth from its socket due to trauma. And the management is replant immediately at the site of incident. Let's go to the rational related to the question. It has to be stored in physiological ideal medium like milk. And it's a superior to saline. Milk is superior to saline, saliva and water. That's why we selected the option milk. The next one is, how would the nurse record the smoking history on a patient who has smoked 2.5 packs of cigarette per day for 10 years? Options are, patient has smoked cigarette for 10 years, patient smoked 2.5 cigarettes per day, patient has 12.5 pack per year smoking history, patient has 25 pack per year smoking history. And here the correct answer is option D. Let's see the rational. It is calculated by multiplying the number of packs of cigarettes smoked per day by the number of years the person has smoked. That is 12.5 pack per divided by day into 10 years it gives 25 pack per year that's why we selected option d next one is a client has paroxysmal nocturial dyspnea which of the following medications does a nurse anticipate will be prescribed by the physician options are lidocaine bumitaminide propanolol urokinase and here the correct answer is option b bumitaminide Rationalis, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea is an attack of the shortness of breath that occurs suddenly during the night time, that is during sleep. It is one of the classical symptoms of the left ventricle failure, underline the word left ventricle failure. Whenever there is a left ventricle failure, the person will undergo pulmonary congestion. It is usually relieved by upper upright position. Bumitanide is a loop diuretic which will decrease the fluid retention into the tissues like lungs and it decrease the paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. A client with cancer develop pleural effusion. During chest auscultation, the following breath sounds should be expected to hear. The options are crackles, ronchi, diminished breath sounds and wheeze. Here the correct answer is option C, diminished breath sound. The rational is, breath sounds are diminished or absent in situations concerned with pleura, like pleural effusion, pneumothorax and emphysema. In all these situations, what will happen? The breath sounds will be diminished. That's why we selected that option. Apart from that, what is crackles? Whenever there is a pulmonary edema, you can hear crackle sounds. Ronchi. It's because of partial obstruction or secretion in the large airway like bronchiectasis, etc. Wheezing, asthma, strider, upper airway obstructions. These things have to be remembered in your mind immediately. Aminophilin is to be given in for 20 minutes every 8th hourly to a 20 month old infant hospitalized with severe asthma. Before administering the drug, the nurse should take the infant pulse. Monitor infant BP, check the infant temperature and administer oxygen. And here the correct answer is option A. Check the pulse. Why? Rational is aminophilin is a sympathomimetic bronchodilator. So it increases the heart rate. That's why we are checking the pulse. Its common side effect are tachycardia, hyperglycemia and GI upset. The next one is alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency leads to emphysema, bronchitis, Pulmonary edema, bronchiectasis. Here the correct answer is option A, emphysema. The next one is, the nurse is caring for a client diagnosed with COPD. Which data would warrant immediate intervention by the nurse? The options are, client pulse oximeter reading is 92%. Client ABG is 7.45. Client with shortness of breath while walking to bathroom. Client sputum is rusty color. Here the correct answer is option D. Client sputum is rusty color. Why? Why we selected this option? The rational is blood tinged sputum is called rusty sputum. Sometimes seen in patient with COPD. 
shortness of breath on exertion, low level of partial pressure of oxygen or saturation may be seen in COPD. So, no need for immediate intervention. But for rusty sputum, immediate intervention is needed. That's why we selected this option. Which of the following muscle is the safest muscle of the larynx? Options are lateral cricoarotenoid, posterior cricoarotenoid, oblique arotenoid, transverse arotenoid. And here the right answer is option B, posterior cricoarotenoid. Food exchange list will help the diabetic patient too. Options are avoid certain food items, plan menu, select food items and amount of food per day and select food items if sugar level is low. And here the correct answer is option C. Select the food items and amount of food per day. The rational is food exchange. What is that? It is a grouping of commonly used food according to similarities in composition. It means if you take an example carbohydrate. There are different varieties of carbohydrate which can give the same calories of food to the patient or same calories of energy to the patient. Okay, so we have to list out those foods which is giving the same calories of energy and we have to give to the patient interchangeably. For my example, morning you give one food with the same calories means afternoon you can interchange the food and give to the patient. That food should also have the same calories. Okay, that is called as food exchange. There are six main exchange list. Just now I told we have to exchange the food. So, what are all the food we can exchange? Bread with starch, vegetable, milk, meat, fruit, fat, all those foods we can exchange. It will help diabetic patient to select food items and amount of food for breakfast or meals from a given list of the foods. A patient is to be given 12 units of insulin. If 1 ml of insulin solution contains 40 units, how much insulin should be given in ml? Options are 0.5 ml, 0.4 ml, 0.3 ml and 0.2 ml. Here the correct answer is option C 0.3 ml. 40 units of insulin present in 1 ml of insulin. We all know that. So 12 unit of insulin contains. How we have to calculate that? 12 divided by 40 it gives the answer 0.3 ml. The next one is. When caring for a client who has just undergone transplenoidal hypopisectomy, the nurse must alert for respiratory depression, gastric distension, excessive urine output, cardiac arrhythmias. And the correct, answer, the correct is answer is option C, excessive urine output. Rational is transplenoidal hypopisectomy is the removal of hypopisis, otherwise called as pituitary gland, by transplenoidal approach. After surgery, we have to monitor the patient for the signs of DI or SADH, which results from ADH disturbance. A 3 month old infant has been diagnosed with congenital hypothyroidism. What is the probable effect of the child future? Lifelong myxedema, more severe mental retardation, development of spastic paralysis, repeated episodes of tyrotoxicosis. Here the correct answer is option B, more severe mental retardation. The rational is congenital hypothyroidism also called as cretinism. It is a condition caused by lack of thyroid hormones into the childhood which is characterized by arrested physical growth, mental retardation and decreased rate of BMR. That's why we selected this option. Identify the use of given image. The options are thyrocotomy, laparotomy, thyroidectomy, mastectomy. Look at the image carefully and here the correct answer is option C, thyroidectomy. The rational is, the name of the instrument shown in the image is Joll's thyroid retractor and it is used in thyroidectomy procedure which keeps the surgical wound and the neck muscle retracted. That's why we selected this option. The next one is, in case of hyperthyroidism, which of the following is increased? T3, T4, TSH, all of this. And here the correct answer is option B, T4. Why T4? Let's see the rational. In hyperthyroidism, the level of thyroid hormones like T3 and T4 both will increase, but mainly T4 level will increase. That's why we selected this option. And by the effect of compensatory mechanism, TSH level will decrease. That's why we removed that option. Select serum T4 because it is a better indicator of thyroid status than T3. 
The next one is insulin is not administered through oral route because it causes GI tract bleeding, it causes nausea and vomiting, it destroyed by gastrointestinal tract, none of this. Here the correct answer is option C, it is destroyed by gastrointestinal tract. The rational is insulin is a protein hormone so it can be easily destroyed by the GI tract if we given in oral because of enzyme pepsinogen. In following, which is not a function of the insulin? Options are decreasing glycogenolysis, lipogenesis, gluconeogenesis, glycogenesis. And here the correct answer is option C, gluconeogenesis. The rational is, insulin decreases the blood glucose level in the body by the mechanism of glycogenesis, lipogenesis and decreasing gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis and increase the utilization of glucose by the body cells. You should know the definition of each and everything like you know gluconeogenesis, glycogenesis then only you can answer this question. The next one is which of the following gland has the presence of centroacinar cells? The given options are pancreas, parotid, prostate, mammary gland and here the correct answer is Option A, Pancreas. Hereby I am ending the session guys. If you have any queries, please contact us in the mail ID and phone number. And also if you want to contact us directly, the address is also given here. If you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe it. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. And keep on motivating us by subscribing our channel. Thank you very much.